Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we're continuing with our lessons on the luminaire and embroidery. If you haven't watched these videos for the new owner series, I recommend that you go back to the beginning because they build upon one another. So we'll start out today using some features that you've seen in other lessons within the software. And by the way, if you'd like to know more about different features on the machine, I also have videos that are available both on embroidery and on the sewing side for the Luminaire. I am re-recording lessons so that they can be in numbered series so that everyone will know what lesson should follow the next. Today we're going to be talking about the snowman sticker, sticker and you can see that I have one attached to the side of my machine. Now these stickers come on a sheet like this. You should have a package that came with your machine. It's with the paperwork and they have an adhesive on the back. And I like to use these particularly when I'm trying to place things for garments or if I'm making something like a tablecloth and I want to make sure that I have everything lined up and I've drawn chalk lines or used an air erasable marker or a wash away marker. These work extremely well. Now you want to place them so the small side of the snowman is at the top and the large size side of the snowman is at the bottom. And you'll notice there's a crosshair between it. The other thing I want to mention about this is if you own software like PE Design 11, you can print templates with the snowman inside that. So if you took a little bit of spray base and you took that template and attached it to your fabric, it works just like the snowman. Now let's get started. I've already hooped some fabric. This has got, uh, there's some lines here and those lines are chalk lines. I've already stitched out an example or two, but I'm going to show you how this works with different functions in the machine. So in the first example, we're going to place the snowman sticker right here. So I'll gently place it right here over this line and Hopefully I have it in the right position. And now we're going to put this on the machine and we'll center whatever we're going to stitch out. So let me place it in the machine. And we're going to go to the fonts and let's just select a font and I'll choose this one. It's a fun little font. And I'll just make this A, B, C. Now let's make this a medium font so it stitches out rather quickly. And let's space it a little bit. So we're going to go to spacing. And I want to spread this out a little bit. So let's do that. And we'll choose OK. All right, so now what we want to do is to choose set. And then we want to go to embroidery and go to layout and let's select the snowman. Now the first message that it gives you is if you had this angled or at an angle, it's going to move it back to the original position which is going to be in the center of your screen because what we're trying to replicate here is if you really wanted something at an angle or you hooped something incorrectly. And now when we get to this screen, it's asking us, well, where do you want to place this design? Do you want it to be in the upper left-hand corner? Is that where this is positioned? Or is it in the center right position? Or do you want it to be in the center? And most of the time I'm going to use that center position. Now what I want to do is choose scan. So let's go ahead and scan and we'll get a message that it's going to recognize it. And you can see that it's moving and it's recognizing that snowman. And once it's found it, You'll see that it centers over it and it's going to give us a message and tell us to remove the positioning mark. Now you may get an, an error message at some time. 
And that may be because where you place the snowman, you don't have enough room to embroider. Always look at what the machine is telling you because generally it's telling you how to, to correct the problem. All right, let's go ahead and choose OK. And now you can see that I have this position so that it's at an angle in the hoop, which is following that line that I had drawn that I want to show you. So I'm ready to start stitching. Let me bring you over here so you can see this. And you can see that it is lining up that design right in the center of that line. And it shouldn't take very long to stitch this out. So I use this quite a bit whenever um, somebody asks me to embroider like a polo shirt. And what I do is I put up a, a positioning sticker on their shirt after I make sure that I have it, everything lined up. And this way I can make sure that I have their, their name straight, even if I haven't hooped it straight. So this is one method for ensuring perfect placement and making sure that everything stitches out correctly according to using the snowman sticker. On the next example, what we're going to use is a camera and some other functions. So we'll let this finish. So now we have ABC and it's positioned correctly. You can see that it's in the center of that line and at that angle and that's using the snowman. All right, let's look at some other methods that we can use. So we'll go ahead and choose OK. And what I want to do is to return, and I do want to change this to a different font that's a little lighter so that it will stitch out faster. So we're going to go to text, and what I want to do is to change the font type. So let's go down here to the bottom, and I want this to be all of the letters, so I'll choose that ABC, and remember we covered this in an earlier lesson, so this is just more or less a refresher, and I'll choose OK. Now I want to go to size because I want to make sure it is on the medium size, and that's OK. So we're going to use a different font, and we'll choose set. All right, on this next example, what we're going to use is the camera, and let's look at this line right here and what we're going to do is we're going to line this up so that it actually starts right here where the the line is along this vertical line so let me show you how to do that let's go back and what we want to do is go back into embroidery and we want to go to layout and then we also want to scan this because we want to scan it in the hoop. So let's choose scan and we'll choose scan. So this is scanning it with a camera. And it'll take it a moment to recognize it. Now remember, if you had scanned something before and you want to move that or remove it, you need to go to page 10 in your settings and you can remove the previous scan. But if you scanned it again, it would overwrite it. All right, we want to move this ABC to right here on the screen. So in order to do that, I want to close the scanning window I want to go to move and let me just move it up so that I have it more or less in in the position where I want it and I can see the line it may be faint for you but I can see that I have this more or less lined up on that particular line and then if I need to make this larger, I can do that. You can see it here and see that line. Let me do that. 
So here it is. And I can tell with this faint line here whether or not it, it's in alignment. We'll just choose close. If I wanted to rotate it a little bit, I could do that too by going to rotate. And I'm going to rotate it back to the left a little bit and line it up so that it's lined up that way and I'll choose OK. Now I'm going to use this start stop feature. And what this does is it allows me to line it up in a position on the, the screen and to see, actually I chose the trace feature. This trace feature will allow me to trace around my design. We're going to do that in a moment. We're going to go to the start feature. And what I want this to do is to start in the lower left-hand corner and I'm going to move it over so that this plus is right here where my line is on my screen. So I can choose to move it to that lower left-hand corner choosing this option here as well. I'll choose OK. And what I'll do is go back to move and I'm going to move this over. So that it's lined up and I think that I have it lined up fairly well. I'll just move it up just a little bit. And you can also let, take your needle and do a needle up, needle down to see if you have it in the right position. But it looks like I do. And let me show you what I have under the needle. So here it is. It's lined up here. It's this pink line. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch this out. So we'll choose OK. And we're ready to go on and stitch. So we're stitching that. And it should stitch out fairly quickly. Now I'm sitting at a, a fairly wide angle for my machine, so I'm not exactly on point, but I'm very close to being on point. So I'm satisfied with it. And we'll let it go ahead and type the other two letters. In the next example, what we're going to do is we're going to use a projector, and then we're also going to project a crosshair. So I'll show you that in just a moment. And the thing that you need to understand is that you can place anything that you want with perfect placement with your machine because you have the opportunity to use the snowman, you can use the camera, and then you can also use the projector. All right, so that's perfectly placed. Now what we're going to do is show you the last example. So in the last example, what we're going to do, we'll just go ahead and choose OK. We're going to return so we can move this back to the center position. and. It's reverting back. We'll go ahead and change this to a different font, or let's just delete this design and we'll create a new one. So for this one, I think what we'll do is we'll create a design using this font and we'll choose numbers and we'll have one, two, three. And let's make that medium and choose set. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into embroidery, and this time what we want to do is we want to turn on the LED so that we can see the positioning mark, and let me show you that. You can see it right here. You see the crosshair, and you'll actually see it much better whenever I show you how we're going to move this up. So let's first position it up above, right where my finger is, behind the embroidery foot, and let's do that. So we'll zoom back out, and what we'll do is we'll go to layout, and we'll choose move. So we want to move this up in the hoop. 
and let me show you under the needle and you can see that that's fairly close. I'll zoom you in so you can really see it. And what I want to do is to move that over to the right. All right, that's where I want to be. So now what I want to do is to use the projector and project that. So let me show you that as well. So what we're going to do is we'll turn the projector on. And when we turn the projector on, you'll get a box around the design and you can choose your background fabric. I want to choose a light background and I need to move this box. So it's up here at the top. And let's see if I have this projected right where I want it. I'll zoom you back in so you can actually see it. And of course you're going to get that moray effect as, as it's a video, but you can see that it's in position and I think it's perfectly placed. So I'll zoom you back out and we'll go ahead and choose OK. And now what we want to do is embroider one, two, three. And what I want to show you is placement is extremely easy. It's easy as one, two, three. And if you follow the, these lessons, I'm sure that you will become an expert with your machine. Now, in our next lesson, we'll be talking about using the connectors. And after we wrap that up, we'll start in with my design center. I'm Terry Maffitt. I hope these videos have been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I also encourage you to join my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. We have over 2,100 members in that group, and we have several people who have a very strong knowledge of the Luminaire and several products that are available for sewing today. This video concludes our lesson on perfect placement. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for your time.